The overall goal of the following experiment is to demonstrate methods used to wound C. elegans and to visualize the epidermal responses to wounding. This can be achieved by wounding the epidermis with small punctures caused by pricks from a microinjection needle. A second wounding method uses laser irradiation. This can be performed on animals mounted for microscopy and allows for immediate imaging of the wounding response. The results show that wounding triggers a rapid elevation of epidermal calcium, followed by the accumulation of an actin ring around the wound site that closes in a few hours, thus allowing the wound to heal. The needle and laser wounding methods shown here are currently the most widely used methods of skin wounding in the nematode C. elegans. These methods are used to address key questions in the wound healing field, such as how skin cells detect and respond to injury. Put a plate containing young adult worms on ice for about half an hour to slow the animals down. This chilling-induced torpor is important for precise needle wounding, as worms normally move around too quickly for wounding. Under the stereo microscope, view the worms and, using a pick, move them all to the center of the plate. Then, grip a pulled needle, like that used for microinjection, with a 100 microliter pipette tip as a needle holder. Bring the needle point to either end of a worm, avoiding the gonads, either between the posterior pharynx and anterior gonad, or between the posterior gonad and the rectum. Then, at an approximately right angle to the cuticle, make a